Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the exceptional handling. In the previous video, I explained about the checker and unchecked ex exceptions, the hierarchy of the uh, exception classes that we all seen in the previous video. Now let's try to uh, work on some code snippets. So while seeing these code snippets, uh, try to evaluate whether you are able to understand the concept or not. Okay. So you, you all know that the try and the catch blocks are the keyword, the try and the catch are the keywords that are used in the exceptional handling, which are used to handle the exceptions. So why we need to, why we need to handle the exceptions? Because uh, if uh, in the C programming, if any error occurs, we don't know what type of error is it. So to make the user friendly approach, these exceptions are introduced. So it is going to explain you and it is going to show you what type of exception is this means it's a user friendly message is going to be displayed okay without hanging the system right so in the first here in the first uh, code snippet i had shown you try block at some task will be there catch block okay so exception is handed here a class is used exception e what type of exception is it handles all checked and unchecked exceptions because why it handles both why the exception is handled both because all exceptions all exceptions or subclasses of exception class or subclasses of exception class because exception is a super class right or not so this is the first thing in the hierarchy so it is a super class so it is going to handle all checked and unchecked exceptions okay try to under check this try block catch here what type of exception class we had used runtime exception and the object reference is re so what is going to be handled this catch block what is handling this catch block handles all unchecked exceptions only unchecked exception not checked it only handles the unchecked exceptions why because because unchecked exceptions or subclasses of unchecked exceptions or subclass of subclasses of runtime exception runtime exception class so that's why the runtime exception class, it's going to handle only unchecked exceptions. Unchecked exception. Now try to understand this. Try block, catch block. So what type of exception is IO exception? IO, this catch block handles IO exception classes, handles all IO exception, IO exception class and its subclass also and it's whatever the subclass is there for IO exception that is going to be handled so what about this fourth one try catch IO exception at the same time SQL exception also you can include the multiple classes also the catch is going to handle the multiple exceptions also okay it will handle both this catch block this catch block is going to handle IO as well as sql exceptions both it is going to be handled whenever io is uh, input output exceptions occur that this cache block is handled okay means it is going to generate a message the input output expression is occurred so please try to check you can give a friendly message there okay so that the user can understand it sql exception means any exceptions that is in the query database if you write something like uh, some, any mistake in the database queries okay if the table is not present if the table is not accessible the permissions is not there everything will be caught by this catch block that is the SQ, uh, sql exception it's going to handle the database ex, uh, tables okay so it will handle both io and sql exception and their subclasses also and their subclasses also if you are trying to access a superclass means obviously it is going to handle the subclasses also right so this is about some code snippets so why i have given this because you need to understand what is this uh, exception classes so which class we need to use while we are working on the catch block 
So based on the user requirement, if you are using IO programs means you can write IO exception. If you are using the SQL uh, programs means if you are writing the queries in the task, in the try block, in the task, if you are writing the uh, database queries, then use a SQL exception. Suppose you don't know what type of exception I have to use. So better go with the super class. Exception. Exception is going to handle all checked and unchecked exception. Right? Okay. Thank you.